Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with niche builds, less equipment, less classes, less hit points and more enemies with a better advent and a better chosen. Two chosens are down, one more chosen to go as we're going into Operation God Hand which hopefully will finally counter kind of the collateral damage uh, a dark event that seems to be lingering here for at least three maybe even four months uh, so no clue, no clue why that hasn't materialized yet and there is a large number of advent troopers nine is not necessarily a large number so maybe something is off we're going to go in with the b team or whatever is uh, remaining of the B team because a couple of our B team um, soldiers have now made it to Colonel rank and I figured we want to give some XP to the lower ranking uh, troops so Zirk and Toxic both of them captains soon to be majors hopefully we got Zoo Cougar here who bring Mike the Public Bravo um, since the other sniper has made it to a Colonel rank and Sandman as a freshly baked major comes in we do not have enough money to get the restealth item yet, but I would like to take that uh, for the future. For now, it's a smoke grenade. And I figured that would be a good uh, use if uh, Sandman doesn't want to kind of reveal himself. He might as well just support the others with a smoke grenade. Shouldn't reveal him or should have a really low chance of revealing him. And yes, yeah, Secundus is joining us as well. As always heavily damaged, we didn't have any chance to invest time to repair. So as always, those missions need to be done almost flawlessly because we can maybe take a shot or two, but not more than that. Fantastic. We got ourselves a nice straight fight and look at that. We got an elite assault here. That means elite shotgun plus the wonderful stun bay, uh, baton which we're going to hopefully use and a lot of movement as always. Sandman is starting to find out where the enemy is located. There is eventually something down here inside. Good, we gotta be a bit careful. Moving up without hopefully pulling them. Here. Mike the Public Bravo moves into a good position to attack soon. We're still hidden with Zirkim. He might as well move up all the way. Lancer moves up and Zukuger moves up as, um, as well. We're going to do a scanning protocol just to double check that nothing is inside of the houses. So no other pack, no one inside of the houses, no one inside of that one tower. Good, fantastic. Got to remember to use scanning protocol often enough. It's a good ability. And there is another pack, by the way. Plenty of civilians. Okay, we got an incendiary bomb. Which potentially will... Yeah, which potentially will trigger them if we're uh, going here. Most likely. Mike here still does not have death from above. I think we're just going for the elite trooper. 186% chance and there is a good chance that this will crit. Let's just start the pack that way. X-ray 
solid kill. They don't know where, where it was coming from, which means they're just taking standard positions. And that's what, uh, sort of what I was hoping for. Secundus moves over. Starting a nice hit. That worked like a charm. We know there's a second pack, so gotta be really careful not to overdo it. I don't want to charge in yet. Let's first of all figure out what this other pack is about. I am at your service. Luckily we do have a scout. You cannot run. I found their patrol. And see that's why we don't want to trigger um, more enemies than we currently are dealing with. This here will trigger Yep, that will trigger additional enemies. Hence, we are being a bit more gun shy than we normally would be. Full cover, and we're just using common protocol to finish this guy. 100% chance. Toxic moves over here. Very soon is going to take the high ground. This here will mark the priest and maybe remove the cover. Well, it doesn't remove the cover, but still marks the priest, so that's good. Typically, I wouldn't want to use uh, the conceal break the concealment here, but that was overall worth it. Sandman makes sure that he's not going to be spotted out, and there is a certain likelihood that that second pack will just move into us. That seems to be not the case. But before we're hacking something, uh, let's move over here. Grab that bot. If we can take over that super heavy tower, that would be awesome. 50-50. Very good. Again, that should not trigger. They don't know about it being um, hacked yet, but they very soon will. Sixty-six percent. I really would like to take high ground instead. Moving over, we still have plenty of time, really. What's over there? Beat, beat. So one of the options here is to simply Overwatch. Good. Overwatch, Overwatch. Very likely that someone will trigger and then we would be able to kill all of them. Oh, look at that. The little someone is the Chrysalid King.
and a pack of random advent. Chrysalid King has 30, uh, 25, wow, 25 defense. Holy shit, that's a lot. I am thinking we do have claymores, could use that in order to get those guys can't hit more than one. If I could hit two I would take it. I am trusting you. Alright, moving over. We don't have squad side, which is a bit of a shame. But what we do have is we do have a tower. And that tower could, or might as well, kill the other tower. Yes, that should be enough. All right, didn't destroy the ceiling, as I was hoping it would. But at least shredded those guys. Okay, cool. So we still have all three of them right there. Let's maybe start with that um, skirmisher here. Might be a kill. Fortunately, a miss. 75% missed. But it was uh, worth a try. Good, we're moving up. Got a couple of options here. Let's see if... Yeah, I was about to uh, say, let's see if we can remove the cover. Unfortunately, that seems to be not the case. Combat protocol into the super heavy turret would almost completely wipe it out. So keep that in mind. Now it's a pretty decent time for run and gun and a cover removal. Partners already out of actions, I think. But yeah, those two clowns here would lose cover. Here, catch. Still leaves us with the skirmisher, which honestly is a pain to deal with. Good. Zirkim okay. moves into cover. Sixty six percent, that's not good enough. We're going to take the concealment bonus to almost get it to ninety percent. Concealment done.
I will, for now, try to not use overdrive. Good. We're leaving the tower as is. The tower has nothing of importance inside. And let's try to kill that soldier right there. Fantastic. One way of dealing with him is via the rocket launcher. But I would like to keep that as well for uh, for the Chrysalid King when when that guy comes in. For now, I think we're just overwatching. What? He just moved through there. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, he literally just killed both of the towers. Okay. Wow. We're hitting this guy, but the Chrysalid King is still right there. Good copy. Moving on target. Moving up. Time to kill that skirmisher. Thankfully, super high crit value. Okay, so we could charge there and hit it. Not sure if that's the best move. Bristolet King seems to be really strong. Oh, what I should have done before the actual hit here what I should have done is use the rocket launcher because that would have shredded it Good. would have been two more damage Let's try to continue to shred this guy. Lost all of his armor. Uh, we're moving further away. Almost looks too close for comfort. And we're overwatching. Good. Three more enemies, but our main target is going to be the Chrysalid King. If the Chrysalid King would be really clever, it would potentially devour one or two of those guys and just create new spawns. Yeah, he is clever. Does that automatically spawn new chrysalids? We have a potential hack over here. Yeah, just a couple of supply 
the crates we can get that a bit later okay now is the right time for overdrive i was waiting for the right moment which undoubtedly is now time to shred uh, not good Come on. Thank you. And time to get that crystal king. I think we should mark it first as well. Additional reinforcements are coming from right back there. Okay, moving over. Marking the Chrysalid King. Fortunately missed shot. Time for some teamwork. could be a double hit but I think we're instead just going to hit those two that's one kill and one shred plus severe injury Reloading. pre order loader time to continue we do have death from above so Let's use that to our advantage. Superior outloader, okay, cool. Gotta be careful, I want to stay back because currently our expendable Sun Lancer is in the front line and that's totally fine. Down to 1 HP, okay. Teamwork, and we're looking at what? Uh, Combat protocol would be a kill. Would not be a kill. Good. We wanted to use the Chrysalid King to reset. Gotcha. Unfortunately, no one is in range for death from above, but it gives us a great option to reposition. Free reload. Let's get that elite lancer. Kill confirmed. Good. Off to a good start with that skirmisher. Nice little dodge right there. Ooh, fantastic hit. I would like to greet and get that loot here. Superior agility is well worth it. Might be revealed. Luckily, we're not, and we can finish him with our last combat protocol. Defensive 
Very good. That leaves us with one group of enemies, which is kind of that priest and... The time for hiding is over. This trooper right there. Taking that extra hack. Hundred percent chance for a couple of supplies. We're of course going to take that. Moving further. Okay, I'll go. Toxic is going to mark this guy, and very soon we're going to kill him. Fantastic. Mike reloads. Sirke moves over. We're moving into full cover. And an overwatch. And Sandman can potentially end the timer. We're not going to do it, but I want to double check what the re potential reward is going to look like. I like that one. I like that one. He lays the current dark event project, so we're going to try to get that. Begin reload sequence. Optical sensors on Overwatch. I feel I won't let them pass. Good, there is more Overwatch happening. In the meantime, we're moving up. What's over there? Double time. And by that, I mean everybody is moving up. We got one more turn. No one will cross. Menace one five. The Advent Network terminal is shut. We're maximizing our chance to hack that by using our specialist. Fifty fifty. I like the income, but the delay is even better. Too bad. It was worth it. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Good moving up. This might trigger an overwatch. And we're moving right down there. Nicely stunt this guy. Running and gunning, positioning ourselves in a flanking position, and since he is stunned, we should be good to go. Alright, moving in and giving him the good old fist. <laughs> Fantastic. Priceless. Priceless. Okay. 
Well, it's a relative um, soft mission, I like it. Mike got a promotion here and we'll take kill zone finally. Oh nice, Toxic got a promotion as well. We'll take Hail of Bullets. And Zirkim got a promotion and we'll take the cover. Cool, we got two more majors. So all of them are very well on their merry way to become a colonel. Which opens new possibilities for low level characters. A couple of supplies few corpses, nothing major, work, and we finally countered collateral damage. To the resistance movement across the globe. Good. Four more days until the hunter weapons, that's the dark lands. And we wanted to scan for that supply rate because we want alloys and delirium for the last weapon upgrades. Our supplies are looking surprisingly well. Just the extra supplies that we got on the run and the ones from the actual mission. Look at that, Endors. One of our uh, first newcomers now that we do have live fire training, which allows to train those guys to sergeant rank. Sucks for those who are not at sergeant rank yet, but here we go. Uh, I think it's a new viewer character. Pretty cool model, I like the design, and we're promoting him to be a Phantom Shadow Strike Ranger just like everyone else. So, in terms of lobbies, let's take a look here. So let's say our our imaginary line of the B team, so we got our A team up here, cool. We got a couple of people from the B team that made it to Colonel. We got a few majors, um, the re re remaining part of the B team that is soon going to become colonels as well. So we got Mike and Hunk here. We got Jarenks and Wrong Planet, so to speak, is kind of the fourth. So those four kind of are one team. We got a Ranger. We got a Specialist with Hats. I mean, we got another team here, but kind of class would we want if I was to take yet another one is it is it going to be another ranger no because we got iron lady we got three rangers that's plenty uh, the grenadiers aren't that great in this current game mode because um, of the duplicative uh, uh, limitations you can't have uh, two grenades so they actually wouldn't work that well specialists are always a good option I think that that might be an option and sharpshooters are a good option as well how many sharpshooters do we have Mike here and just th this one two hmm that's a good one difficult to say we don't need as in like fully need something but Maybe we're making it another specialist. Huh. Or another sharpshooter. Let's go for another sharpshooter. I know that new um, that new viewers often like to be DPS classes. So if he's if he actually sees um, a mission during this run, then he can claim that he had been a DPS class. Or turrets, yes please. So we got a nice little defense right there. Yeah, and we don't need any of uh, those buildings. Good. Aliens are placing faceless ones. Ah, it's not the end of the world because we do have scanning protocol and typically they come out uh, with scanning protocol. Fantastic. Dark Law and Dark Lands. And we're continuing with modular cannons just to get more upgrades there. 
think that that is smart. In terms of loadout, look at that. Superior aim, superior autoloader, superior hair trigger just for that extra shot, and a superior stock just for massive upgrades and it only uses one action to fire such a good weapon slick design on top of it i think for the offhand i'm still going to take the extra critical chance 15 percent and 10 percent aim so we're just keeping that shadow keeper with us and we're running ap rounds that way we're ignoring armor as well she's really more of a classical sniper and that's okay Nothing wrong with it. Cool. Spark 2 now starts being repaired after Spark 1 is Primus is completely repaired. Message coming through, Commander. And we're done with player. another month. Look at that. Knocked out. He's still ravaging the lands, and we'll try to lower our income. And we finally defeated the um, stupid hunter as well. This here is nasty. This here is super nasty. Tech doubling is really bad because we're, we're often trying to hack something. So we gotta make sure that that is not happening. As for our... Um, resistance orders I think we're fine we're also good uh, with the overall with the overall um, avatar project that never had been a problem I think this run was a nice showcase of how you can immediately defuse it and never go into the doom clock and in terms of upgrading we're now a thousand two hundred in which means we definitely can take Cool under pressure, yes, and parkour. So we're still 800 in. Hey, Commander. In team, in terms of further upgrading, one refraction field costs 100, but it's expensive. And we're keeping sufficient uh, funds to upgrade the other weapons. For now, I would leave it as is. We do have one more training uh, to go, but the rest seems fine. Commander, the aliens Good. To the aliens are now making progress on the Avatar project, which means we need to react. There is a supply rate right here. Mutant and Factor. Archon Valkyrie, Gatekeeper, Mumber, Elite Priest, Lost Brood. Looks doable, to be honest. We're going to spend some well-earned intel before we go there. Is open. Oh, we got some really nice items here. Superior Scope, Superior Expanded Magazine, Superior Hair Trigger. Oh and superior speed that's really good 25 50 80 you know what we're getting those things anyways it's going to be a nice weapon upgrade and I'm going to put that into a into good uh, use into our weapons and the next mission is then going to be our supply raid, where we're hopefully getting Alarium and Alloys. We can regain Intel if we really need more of both of uh, those. And I think the idea is potentially supply run and then very soon either Warlock, because uh, we will have an access to his, um, to his facility. <laughs> okay and we got another mission there shit we got two missions on parallel mayday mayday 
two missions um, on parallel. Okay, cool. Uh, but that is great. It, it'll definitely give our C team something to do as well. I'll cut uh, the episode here. We're having plenty to do two missions ahead. Then soon the covert action is going to finish. So that might uh, force us to uh, to go in with the prime team. Yeah, look at that. Two days available. Everybody is um, is ready with full health. So that's definitely an option uh, to to kill the warlock. And then essentially there is sim uh, just the um, alien ruler left over, the um, archon ruler, which we which we want to take down. This here is a bit unfortunate. We a couple of uh, guys from the second team. Uh, will potentially need to go in tired because um, we do have three missions literally back to back to back and the roster afterwards is either going to be slimmer or high heavily injured because i'm expecting that the missions are being brutally hard as they should be thanks guys for watching if you enjoy the content leave a like and a comment down below and see you in the next episode bye bye